Hi, I'm Mark McBride-Wright. I am a gay chemical engineer and I am chair and co-founder of Inter Engineering. My name's Amanda Susan Mackay. I'm the Nuclear Quality Director for Balfour Beatty. I'm transgender. Uh, I'm also bisexual. Hi, I'm Diego. I am a structural engineer. I am gay and I work for WSBPP. Hi, my name's Emma Baldry. Um, I am a gay, lesbian woman, cisgender. Hi, I'm Thomas Sheridan. I'm a gay man. I work for Mott McDonald. I'm Kimberly Bartlett. I'm an out lesbian. I'm married and uh, I'm a lighting engineer. Hi, uh, my name is Gyandeep. Uh, I'm gay. I work for Arcadius Consulting. Uh, I'm uh, Rob Ridley. I'm a gay engineer uh, working in the army. Hello, I'm Charlotte Robinson. I'm a straight transgender woman and I work for Inter Engineering. Coming out was probably the most frightening thing I've ever done in my life. Um, it was something that I felt would mean the end of my working career, certainly the end of promotion and career prospects. And it's something that I've found to be completely the opposite. I would say uh, LGBT is not an issue in the engineering profession anymore. I've really, really enjoyed uh, working with a number of firms and never had any issues having been completely out since I first started work. Being able to come out in the workplace in an environment that is safe, that is supportive, um, really does uh, give you great opportunities. I make my friends, I introduce myself, I go into the professional institutions, do what I need to do. And then I introduced myself as a lesbian, having a wife, having five cats, <laughs> experiencing life to the fullest as I am in my true, true situation. I've never had a problem. When I joined the profession in 2005 as a student, there, was, there weren't any um, outreach campaigns to LGBT students. And now you see this happening more and more. Um, in the uh, 16 years that it's been legal uh, to be uh, lesbian, gay or bisexual in the armed forces. Um, we've absolutely moved uh, light years um, on, uh, on LGBT inclusion. And even in the, the one year that I've been here, I've seen such, such positive um, steps and um, if that pace continues then, you know, the future's bright. You become very defensive about it when the reality is a lot of people can accept. Trans is quite mainstream these days. My advice is... Just be yourself. Just be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. Always be yourself. Because I believe that you can only be your best if you are yourself. You have to be yourself. Be yourself. Don't let a little thing like sexuality or uh, gender identity uh, interfere with that. Your profession must come first. A guy I knew very well from the LGBT society uh, walks down those steps in six inch high heels for the first time. He's very gender fluid and for the first time he walked down those steps and no one batted an eyelid because no one noticed he was there because they were in their books doing their engineering. From the, the, the cleaners and the labourers on the shop floor to, to the management, they've all been really positive about it. At the weekend we got engaged. Um. <laughs> this year when I marched at London Pride for the first time, it was the first time the Mott McDonald's had marched and it was also only the second year that engineers had been involved. So we'd gone from having no engineers in 2014 to having over 200 marching in 2016. Being LGBT should not deter you from going into engineering. You can work with some great individuals and great profession, uh, professionals uh, and, and actually some, you know, contribute uh, to the world, the world around us. You can just walk outside and find one of the buildings you designed, or one of the projects you were involved in and be really proud about what you do. That's why I went into engineering. I, I want to make the world a much better place. And at the end, when it's all finished, you can go down that street, you can see that building, you can see that installation and say, that was mine. And it doesn't matter, really, who you are before or after. All the way through, it's been you from the inside creating that wonderful piece of equipment, art, building, situation, hospital, anything. Just do it.